Welcome to another episode of Dark Horse Rowing. Today we are talking about how the kettlebell swing relates very closely to the rowing stroke and why if you understand the kettlebell swing, you are on your way to already having a good stroke. You just don't know it yet. For those of you that haven't been here before, my name is Shane Farmer. This is Dark Horse Rowing, where we teach you everything that you need to know about the rowing machine as well as the sport of rowing. Anything you need to know, we got you covered. Thanks for hanging out. If you guys are here, make sure that you consider hitting that little subscribe button as well as the bell next to it so that you get it alerted every time one of our new videos comes out and you can make sure to stay up to date on the latest. Let's get inside. So what we're talking about is how this movement, many of us already understand, the kettlebell swing is this really quite useful tool to understanding the movement of rowing, where many people look at rowing as this thing unto itself, when in reality, it's just a combination of things that you already know and understand. And so if we can borrow from these things that you already know, we don't have to start from scratch. And that's a really great thing to getting you learning faster, better, with greater uptake of knowledge and information, and less having to re create the wheel, if you will. Nobody wants to do that. What we're drawing from today is the kettlebell swing. So what's really awesome about the kettlebell swing is that we get to draw from this thing that we already understand because I don't want you, frankly, to have to start from scratch, nor do I want to go through the work of having to teach you everything from scratch. I'd rather be able to pull from something that you already know because I know that when we transfer it, you're already going to be able to understand. You're going to be able to pick it up faster, more confidently, and you're going to have that light bulb moment of, oh, that's what he's talking about immediately, right? And if we can do that, that means that this whole process of figuring out what we're doing on the rower is a much faster, much more cohesive learning process that is less frustrating and is going to be easier for both you or your athletes if you're a coach. So what we can draw from the kettlebell swing, and this is super fun. I, I like this. Let's look at the dynamics of a kettlebell swing. It is simply a dynamic hip close where we decelerate, load posterior chain, and then accelerate by squeezing the glutes. What would happen if I told you that it's that hip opening, by the way, this is what drives the kettlebell forward. That's what swings the kettlebell. It's not a lift of the arms. It's a throw with the hips where I squeeze my, my tuchus, right? This guy gets nice and firm and it throws that weight forward. It's that dynamic opening. If my hips are slow, the kettlebell's not gonna swing or it's gonna be very heavy and I'm gonna have to lift. What we understand inherently is that the hips hinge right? This hinge happens. And if I told you that you had to do, I don't know, a hundred kettlebell swings for time, but that you couldn't close your hips, <laughs> how would that go? Right? Like that's not, you're going to you're like, where do I, I don't, what, do I try and like bounce it off? How does that happen? It's not, you're not going to be able to get that kettlebell swing when you don't have the ability to close your hips and open them again. So this is why we draw from it is because you already know how to open them dynamically. So by taking your hips and opening them, we create force. However, when a lot of people get onto the rower, what we find is that their trunk gets stuck in this 12 o'clock position and they just slide back and forth, back and forth, back. And the problem with that is that they get zero dynamic hip opening. And this hip opening is responsible for a pretty decent amount of the power that you get when you are actually on the machine. If that trunk gets stuck at 12, you miss and it actually creates a gap of power because it's your hips that connect the leg drive to the snap of the arms. So if the hips don't open or close, then you have no ability to connect the legs to the handle and you miss that transfer of power. And that means that you're missing, not an exact science, but let's call it 40% of your power is held up in that hip swing to the arm connection. And without that, you're going to have problems. So what you wanna think about when you're on the machine, your hips are gonna rock between 11 and one. It's that dynamic hip opening and closing that allows you to load posterior chain as well as to unload when you need to create that force into the rower. So that is a really critical element that you can take from kettlebell swings to transfer into the rower. 
Just think about the way that your hips move with a kettlebell swing or even perhaps with a deadlift and how that creates force for you and now apply that to a horizontal pattern instead of a vertical pattern. So in that horizontal pattern, I'm going to keep that trunk locked in place, leg drive, leg drive, leg drive, snap. I'm going to squeeze my butt as I extend my knees and it's going to create whoom, that element of power right here that swings from 11 to 1 and allows me to transfer to my handle. That creates good force production for me and I'm going to be able to have a much more effective stroke, especially through the middle of the drive when a lot of people lose power. So that is why a kettlebell swing is super helpful when it comes to learning how to use the rower as a training tool. That's it. Simple. Now get out of here. So guys, if you haven't been here before, thank you for hanging out and tuning in with us. As always, if you would please consider subscribing, hit that subscribe button and then the little bell next to it. That makes sure that you get every alert when we release new videos. We've got challenges, we have technical videos that come out, and we have fun ones like this where we try to make it more palatable for everybody. So come on, hang out with us, hit that little subscribe button and thanks for tuning in guys. We will see you on the other side.